your weather rate certified most accurate forecast fox 54 weather Happy first day of summer. There's a lot of good things that come with the first day of summer. It typically means we are officially going to be hot until like the middle of October. Plenty of sunshine, really all around beautiful weather across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. It also typically means a daily opportunity for showers and thunderstorms. Honestly, at this point, y'all should be used to this because we've been dealing with it for like two weeks now. There is, however, one downside about summer, and that is from here on out, we officially begin to lose a little bit of daylight. Don't worry, though. This isn't something you're going to notice right away. Take tomorrow, for example. Our sunset's going to be at 8.03 p.m. We get 14 hours and 28 minutes of daylight. Then compare that to two weeks from now. Now, July 6th sunset going to be at 8.03 p.m. We get 14 hours and 23 minutes of daylight. Where do we lose the daylight? Well, our sunrise is gradually going to get a little bit later. You're probably not going to notice the lack of daylight across the Tennessee Valley until we get to the back half of July and then early August. By July 20th, sunset's going to be at 7.57 p.m. By the time we get to early August, sunset is going to be at 7.47 p.m. We really started off the summer season in with a bang across the Tennessee Valley, specifically over in the Shoals. The high temperature at the Muscle Shoals Regional Airport this afternoon was 100 degrees. The last time they saw triple digit heat, August 10th of 2020. They were the only ones to reach the triple digits this afternoon. Huntsville International Airport tried but fell short. They saw a high this afternoon of 97 degrees, 96. Both Athens and Decatur, Pulaski and Fayetteville up in southern middle Tennessee saw 95 and 94 degrees respectively. Not a bad day over in northeast Alabama, Scottsboro, Fort Payne, 95 and 93 degrees. June 12th through June 21st. Hey, that's today, the 10th straight day where the high temperature was at least 90 degrees. We only had one 10 day stretch in all of 2021, July 22nd through July 31st, 10 straight days where the high temperature was at least 90 degrees. Here in 2022, we're going to continue to build on to that streak. I've got 97 Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We get warmer as we head into Saturday and Sunday, 98 for both days this weekend. Look at that. Our average high temperature for this time of year, just 90 degrees. You can thank this heat to our current weather pattern, an area of high pressure sitting off to our west. It's going to continue to hang out there as we head into your Wednesday. This does a little bit of good for us. Our upper level winds have a solid northerly component to them. That means we're going to be lacking somewhat in the amount of moisture across the Tennessee Valley through the remainder of the week. Dew points hanging out in the mid and upper 60s as opposed to the mid and upper 70s. Have a good look at the next seven days. There's your 97s both Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. An isolated shower is going to be possible on Thursday. So this 97 might not actually happen. If anybody sees any rain, those those locations that see rain would uh, probably see 94 or 95. 98, both Saturday and Sunday, are best opportunities for any sort of meaningful rain move into the Tennessee Valley as we head into Sunday and Monday of next week. It's all I got for you this evening.